What is the best 3D printer for printing Warhammer-like models that's available today? It's a very important question that almost everyone who is thinking about 3D printing minis has, and with so many new shiny printers coming out each with the latest and greatest technology, it's a question that's honestly getting harder to answer. Now, I have been 3D printing Warhammer models for almost three years now, and I have printed between two and 3,000 minis using more 3D printers than I can count on both hands. The main question when looking at the best 3D printer to buy is how much can I afford? If this is your first look into 3D printing, the cost of machine is not the total price you will pay, but I'll get into that later on. I will say now, the printers that I have used, except for the first one, have been sent to me in the past by companies for videos, but none of them know I'm doing this video and I will be making fair comparisons based on my personal use of the machines. So if you're looking to get started for less than $100 and dip your toes into the magical world of 3D printing, then your best bet is looking through secondhand 3D printers on eBay or Facebook Marketplace. By doing this, I found an Elegoo Mars 2 Pro, which I started with, for roughly $100 from what looks like an old print farm on eBay. The Mars 2 Pro is honestly a fantastic 3D printer. It's got a 2K screen with a 50 micron resolution, and this micron resolution is the most important figure to look for if you want highly detailed minis. But generally, once it starts going below 30 microns, it gets too hard to see any difference to the human eye. If you are buying secondhand, then the main things to look out for is how clean is the printer itself. Resin is messy, and if the machine has been treated well, then any spills that will have happened should have been cleaned up quickly and thoroughly. You should contact the seller and ask for videos of the printer running with the plate moving up and down with the sound on so you can hear the operating noise and videos of the screen working showing the exposure tests to make sure there are no dead pixels. Some questions to ask the seller would be if the screen has been replaced. If not, how many hours has the screen had on it roughly? Because most screens are rated for about 2000 hours, which is a very long time, but the Mars 2 Pro is a printer from roughly 2021. And if it has been used in a print farm since then, it could be near the end of the screen's life. The good news, however, is that a replacement screen only cost $50 from Amazon, but now the printer would cost $150. And for that amount of money, you could just get the next printer on the list, which is a uh, Elegoo Mars 4. It's a printer I haven't personally used, but after watching review videos and having used the company's products before, I feel comfortable putting it in this list, especially because it's coming in at only $169, which for a 9K 18 micron screen, it's pretty impressive. If a smaller printer is something that would suit your space more, then another great one to look for is Frozen Sonic Mini 8KS. At $300, it's almost double the price of the Mars 4, but it's a machine that I have used extensively for videos, and like the name implies, it's got an 8K screen with an impressive 22 micron resolution. It is a workhorse of a printer, like the rest of the frozen machines I have used, and it has a 7.1 inch screen, so you will still be able to print big models, but you will have to get a little creative with how you fit them on the plate. If you know that you will be printing big models like Titans and Bane Blades, then I would say a bigger printer will be better for you in the long run. But remember this one thing, the bigger the printer, the bigger the mess. Frozen Sonic Mighty 8K is a great choice for a mid-size printer, but it costs $500. That $500 does go a long way with this printer, however, because this is the real workhorse of my channel. I have printed a lot of my models on this printer and it still runs great today. It's got a 10.1 inch 8K screen with 24.8 micron resolution and plenty of space to print a Titan. However, it's three years old now and 3D printed technology has changed a lot in the last three years. So in come Elegoo again, with their Saturn IV Ultra. I used this printer for a video on printing and painting an Imperial Knight in under 24 hours because this printer is fast, and I mean fast. It has a tilt and fat function, which basically means instead of the plate having to lift up and pull the cured resin from the screen, 
it simply tilts to remove the last layer and it's ready to go again straight away. For reference, on most of my machines, I have them set to slowly lift the plate up and then wait five seconds between each layer based on multiple calibration tests that I have ran. But those settings are just simply not needed with the Saturn IV Ultra. Speaking of calibration tests, this machine also has the option to print multiple of them on the same plate at the same time, with each one having a different exposure time. Why is this cool? Because it saves so much time being able to do them in the batch like this instead of individually. The Saturn IV Ultra is the only one in this list capable of doing this, but it should be said that any Cubic machines have been able to do this for a long time. It also has some really good features for beginners or people that are just generally fed up with some parts of the hobby, like auto leveling, which I'll be honest, once you have leveled your printer, you generally don't have to do it again for months, but it's a nice feature regardless. The thing I really like about this printer for beginners is the residue detection built in, because if you have any hard bits in your fat before you start printing and you don't get them out, then that plate coming down will crack your screen. I will say that the AI camera is a bit of a gimmick in its current form in my opinion, because it can only really detect the failures in the corner that it can see, but being able to get time lapses of prints easily is great if you want to make content about your 3D printing. The bill plate was something I really didn't like as it is just a mess when removing it from the machine and one of your main goals with resin printing should be to keep the mess down as much as possible because this stuff is toxic. However, since I made my video, there have been people in the community who have designed trip holders for the plate that basically take care of my biggest gripe with this printer. With all of that said, the Saturn IV Ultra is a fantastic printer with a 10 inch 12K screen that has 24 micron resolution and it only costs $400, which is bloody insane for the features you get with it. However, with all of the printers I have mentioned so far, you might need additional equipment to heat the fat and the resin depending on where your printer will be. This is because resin should be printed at between 20 and 25 degrees Celsius or 80 degrees freedom units. So with that in mind, in comes currently my favorite 3D printer to use, which is the Uniformation GK2. It has a built-in heating system, which heats the resin in the fat while also keeping it at a consistent temperature. I never have to worry about the temperature of my shed while using this machine and after spending the time calibrating it perfectly, I can just print out plate after plate after plate. Now, it doesn't have the cool AI features of the Saturn IV Ultra with the auto leveling and the debris detection, but since having it, I have only had to re-level it once, which was simple enough and it took less than 10 minutes. The problems that I had with the bow plate on the Saturn IV just don't exist with this printer because the plate doesn't fully go into the resin, meaning there simply isn't any mess when you take the plate off. It has a 10.3 inch 8K screen with 29.7 micron resolution and comes in at currently $600 if you use their code for 150 off, which makes this a very, very good printer for consideration if you're hovering around that $500 budget mark. It feels strange following up the Saturn IV segment with this printer because there isn't really much to say except it just works. However, if you don't need a heater, then save yourself $200 and get the Saturn IV Ultra. And if you do need a heater, I can recommend this heating thermoband because it fits around the fat of all of the printers previously mentioned and cost under $50. You will have to let it run for roughly an hour before you start printing to get the resin and the fat up to temperature and it is sort of guessing how warm the band actually is unlike the GK2. I will leave affiliate links to every product I have mentioned in this video so if you are considering buying any of them it would be greatly appreciated to use my links because the channel gets some kickback at no extra cost to you and it also means I could potentially get more printers to add to this list. Let me know which printer you think is the best from this list or if I have missed a printer or a key feature in the comments down below and join possibly the best private discord today by becoming a Patreon or channel member by scanning the QR code on screen or clicking the link in the description. If you want to see what the latest project I have printed on the GK2 turned out like, then you should watch this video next. 
As always, I want to give a huge thanks to all my Patreons and channel members for your continuous support because without you, none of this is possible and I'll forever be grateful. I'll see you all in the Discord.